record. Okay, so this is how we start to do our um, logo in Maya. For spacebar, I'll go to front, um, view, image plane, import image, our bison logo. I see it right here. I'll raise it just because I don't like working below the line. Uh, if we go over here, we can um, adjust the opacity. Sorry, this alpha. Okay. Alpha 357. That's good. Um, now let's, uh, yeah, let's draw this. All right, so I want to draw this head first. How to do that is I will go to my edit mesh. I mean, not edit mesh, mesh tools, create polygon, and I'll just start to model it. Click. Let me do this actually. I'll press Q to quit. Select it. Ah. Delete. I go view, import image, everybody send logo. Okay. Let's do that again. Mesh tools, create polygon. And I just click and move. And I'll just kind of like follow this. Be real precise with it. So I'm following along this very finely. And you're going to get to points like this where it gets weird. Just keep on going. You just got to keep on going and never stop believing. And I'm going to keep on hitting these points. Here's where it's going to get weird a little bit because the points are going through the other points, as you can see. But Maya's smart and it like lets it disappear for us and brings it back when we're back on on point. In the real PNG, I think this just continues, so I'm not going to do that other stuff in here. You know, I might as well just to do it. I don't think it's right. Now I'm doing this kind of quickly, so I'm like not uh, being as precise as I should be. Oh, look what happened. I did a control Z and it disappeared everything. It's okay. Didn't know that was going to happen, but uh, I guess that's a thing, right? So. You all know that it's kind of like a one time uh, deal. So it's almost like get it right in the in the beginning and you're all good, I guess. I guess after it's completed, we can start editing. After it's completed, we can start editing the points a bit more. almost there and I'm just going to do half of this one. See, I want to go back so bad, but I'm not because I already know what's going to happen. So I'm just going to continue hitting these. 
and I'll just go back and edit some of those. Ooh, done. All right. So I have that right there. Pressing Q to quit. Now I'll just go back and I'll right click with this vertex and adjust these, you know what I'm saying? To be where I want. So of course, the more edges, the more resolution. I don't know how to add an edge. Can we add an edge? I mean, add a point. Maybe we can, maybe we can't, I don't know. Yeah, so this, you kind of just got to go in and, and fix where you've uh, messed it up. But it ain't that bad. So manipulating these ooh, to get that shape. I'm almost there. I ain't gonna be too much of a perfectionist with this one. But it is good to be a perfectionist. Well, I guess where you um where it matters. Depending on how close this is, it might not matter. And then I can grab like a whole bunch of them at one time and move this whole set. And then I can also scale this one doing with this one. So once again, if you're not like me and you take your time, you won't have to do so much of this. You might have to do a little bit, but not as much as I'm doing. So take your time at first and all this can look good. All right, I'm gonna do this part quickly, not take too much more time on it. All right, so the last part about this is, since I have that, I'm not going too much further into the uh, adjustment. Oh, I gotta do this. Okay. Now that this is there, I'm going to do the last thing, which is this. Is grabbing this most middle point, you know, so this one, shift holding down this one, right click, and I'm scaling in, right? So I'm scaling this way to make sure that this is uh, like flat, okay? Um, now I go here. Now we see what we got, right? We got uh, this piece right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, mirror it. I'm gonna try two different ways. Control D. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna select this. Let me like hide this or I'll move that. All right. All right. So we're gonna select this right here and mm, let me do a mirror, right? So I click on this right here. I'll go to cut geometry off. And it's on, it's saying it's on the axis of X. So it's saying it's supposed to be here. Uh, 
Let's go to merge border do not. Let's see what happens. What sucks is if we did bridge it, it would be right. I merge it, but yeah. For this, we're just gonna do a do not and press Q to quit. So we have this right here and it's all one object. Now what we can do is we can go to edge. Well, let me try this. If I double click on this one and move it over very close. So it's super close to this one now. And then just go get the edge, this edge, shift, this edge, shift, right click, uh, bridge. So now we have this right here, it's bridged. Oh, and something else I could have done too. Peep this, right? So this is nitpicky, but it's, uh, I guess it's proper, oh, somebody needs to be in. It's nitpicky, but it's uh, proper form. Sorry about that, Natalie, I didn't, Hello? didn't see it. Um, so I select this, hold down shift, select this one. Then I go shift right click um, and we go to bridge. So now we have these two, right? So it was in between these two, but let's go to divisions and let's put in one and then go click on this one, shift click on this one, shift right click, delete edge. So now we have that proper middle piece. Hope that made sense for y'all. And so now we have this right here. And all we got to do now is do a control D. Um, wait, another page? Yeah. Uh, I was waiting, but you never, did you call on me for my room? Oh, I did. I thought I uh, said anybody who wanted to, you know, um, show, say something, but I guess oh, I didn't. It's okay. I can show it next class song. Oh, you can show it, but uh, yeah, just let me finish this one and we'll go into it. Okay. So since you have okay. this right here, I didn't mean control D. I meant to do control E, control E, and then we get this, uh, this extrusion, right? So now we have this. Now let's say we want to put that texture on here. All we got to do is uh, right click, assign new material, Arnold, AI standard surface, uh, color, file. I think I had a B PNG of that bison logo. Bison, yeah, this one. I will uh, remember four, five, six. It's there, but it's off. Oh, also something else. Let me see this. If I go into my UV editing, I click on this. It looks all types of crazy. But I'm curious. If I select on this and uh, let me delete my history. So we see all the history here, the poly extrude and all that stuff. So let's delete it right here. I'll select my material, click on this, go to the 2D texture. Now I want to know is if I go to this control click. It's not doing it there. Um, translate frame. Could this be it? No, offset. No. Interactive placement. No, okay, so it's not giving me what I'm thinking it should do. So I'll just select this right here. I'll go to my UV and then I'll just give it a UV automatic, which will then give us this head right here and this head. Now peep this, there's something I wanna show you all. Um, we can lay this image down on these right on top of each other. I'll show you what I mean. If I select these two right here, right? So this is the front and the back face, but it's really, if you look at it, it's like, it's like this, they're both evil. And I mean, not evil, they're both equal. 
evil. Uh, both equal, and they um, they can share the same UV. What I mean by that is this: if it's on the Z axis, we can just UV it in Z instead of doing the automatic, which UVs it from X, Y, and Z. So a UV planner, click on this, I'll put it on the Z. So be on the Z plane, project. Now you see both bison heads are on top of each other. Oh, it's at an angle because I think it was at the angle I was looking at it at. So let me try this. Wait, I didn't turn this, did I? No, I didn't. So let me do this again. Or I can just select it and I'll go to UV planner. It should still be on Z. I don't know why it's doing it at an angle though. That's weird. UV. You're not sure what the angle's all about. Hmm. It's perfect. I don't know why that's happening. Uh, let me do it again. I'll just select these faces. So the front and the back at the same time. UV planner. I'm going to go to this go reset settings. Z see what happens. Ah, okay. For whatever reason that wasn't working. So now if I take this and I scale this down and I move this up, I can kind of get that logo placed in there. So this is just a, a way to do it without Photoshop. So we can take this. So this is like overall scale. So if I scale it like this, let's say, scale it down, then move it up. Just takes a little bit of finessing. I hate that word, but it was appropriate to use it this time. Why do you hate that word? Because y'all are like, oh, yeah, man, I had to finesse the teacher. You know what I'm saying? The Howard finesse. Uh, yeah, We're finessing the class, not the teacher. There's a difference. But you can't finesse our classes, so. Nope. And I can tell when you've been BSing. But, you know, I had a student who was a medical uh, school, and uh, he was telling me that, like, he was really good. And he was like, yeah, man, he was like, I started charging for papers. And he said, before he charges for every paper, he tells everyone, he's like, look, you're going to really need to use this stuff. Are you sure you want me to do this? Like, that's how much of a good guy he was. And they'd be like, yo, just write the paper. So... <laughs> There's a few people out there BSing on their uh No, trust stuff. me, I've been asked to be paid to do projects. Trust me. Yeah. But that's not good because you go out there with the name of a school and you didn't do the work and now you're out in the field and you don't know something and everyone's looking at you like you're crazy and you're just like, uh and then you start thinking of other reasons to blame uh, why why everybody doesn't want to work with you or whatever, you know? It's a real thing. Uh, okay, yeah, but that's how you would do something like this. And that's how you would build it out with this shape, but you could also use um, Photoshop and do it the other way. And then of course, at the end, since we have all these like faces right here, you can just kind of go into the face mode or we can select everything and just deselect these two. And then right click, assign new material, Arnold, and standard surface, and go here. And kind of like to do this, I'll click on this, click on this, uh, this, this, find that blue. And so now that we know that's blue, I'll select my object. Oh, look, see all that history still? Delete it all. 
So we have this one with our texture and this one that's blue. And uh, is, do they have it here? Some, some programs like the Cinema 4D, it has something where you can choose the like complementary color. I don't know if this has it. Yeah, I don't see it. So in this case, I'll look at it right here, this blue. And I think you can go to like green or this or like the opposite. So let's just do that. Click on this. And I'll up the the uh the value. Yeah. So we'd have this. Only thing is it's weird to bevel it because uh, you can't get like the full edge loop because this isn't like proper geometry. I mean, it'll work for what we're doing, but you really want to model things in uh, quads. But this is just, uh, I guess, the way to use the poly pen tool. Something like this, mm, kind of funny. So I guess we could do something where you pull it out and maybe like scale it in a little bit, you know. So we can do something like this and let's see if we can do it. Okay, and then I can take my pen tool and then grab this edge right here and then pull it out. And then we could take this one, shift right click and bevel, go to fraction uh, it's a small bevel. Not worth the bevel there. That'd be one way to do things. And then since you're already here, if you really want to, you could uh, go to faces, grab this face, shift, double click. And so we have this one, shift, double click, right click, assign new material, Arnold, and yeah, standard surface. Let's just go wild and make this purple or something, right? And then you'd have this. And then you could be like, well, you know, it's not on the back. Whatever. I'll just go here, take this. Well, let me duplicate just to. Someone's like a duplicate. Ah, I will duplicate just to not destroy what I already have. And then you could always, you know, throw it away later or whatever. So I'll take this right here and then I'll go to faces. Select this, select this, delete, take this one, control D, move it out like this, E, hold down J, go like this, hold down shift, select them both, and you have to combine them if you want to bridge them. So I'll click on this right here, these edges. So I have this whole edge loop, shift, this whole edge loop, shift right click, bridge, and now we have this and we can go to vertex, select these, pull it in. And these two edge loops right here, they don't matter, right? Cause you know, they're not doing anything for us, you know? So let's dispose of them, delete. Now we have this and we can take these front faces, these front faces and like that. And now we have ourselves a smooth bison head. And just because I'm going to put a plane. You know, I'm gonna do this. I, I like this technique. This is the only time I use this thing right here. Um, let's get a plane. I'll scale it up. Um, make nerves, patches. I'll go to the patches this way. Then I will get a uh, right click, go to control vertex. And I'll take these right here, move these up, deselect these, move these up, deselect these, move these up. So we have this like kind of curved plane looking thing. And then I will press R, ooh, R to scale, kind of move it. 
Let's move it like this. Ooh, the top part looks stupid. Okay. Tone this down a little bit. You know, you can do this with a cylinder too. I'm just, I was trying to do something different and uh, yeah. Sometimes you should just stick to what you know. Um, you can go like this. Infinite backdrop. And do it, yeah, we'll do what we did before. Arnold, just to test it. Lights, guide dome, click on my color, click on my file, click on my file, go get one of these uh, rooftop night HDR. Here, let's do it. I'll do a view, create camera from view. So I have this view right here. Render cam, my, per, my perspective. I just want to see what this is. Oh, this is a cool one. Yeah, Europe. All right, uh, render cam, give it a play. Click on it. Uh, let me get rid of some of this history again. And then you just gotta find the one with the image, which looks like it's this one. Cause this is like the front. Go to roughness, take away that, uh, that shine, that sheen. We can bring it back, you know, it's all on you. Oh, this is with no roughness. Okay. Yeah, so we see the little highlight coming up. I can go like this and diffuse it out if I want. But this is a time where you see that specular, where that specular might come down and you can get a better look out of it. But in the end, we're just like adjusting these things. Maybe it's HDRI. I don't like the way it's doing things. Uh, let me get a better one. Yeah, and the lighting makes all the difference in the world. It's loading in that other HDRI, so it's taking a while. But uh, in the end, yeah, that's just how you would make a, uh, I guess, sketch out a shape like that. Um, and I'm going to do uh, text for the next one, which is a lot easier.